Before you can download ebooks and audiobooks to your phone or tablet, you'll need to download the Overdrive Media Console app and get an Adobe Digital ID. If you haven't done that yet, check out our Getting Started video that will show you how to complete those steps. Since I'm all set up, I can access the library's ebook and audiobook catalog right from my phone or tablet. Choose the ebooks and more option from our app. Here you can access my digital account to see the items you've already checked out and downloaded recently. You can also search for new ebooks and audiobooks. Let's download an ebook. First I'll search for a book that I'm looking for and then I'll choose the title. Now I'll choose download. After choosing download I'll need to sign into my account using my barcode and PIN. Then I tap one more time to download the book. Overdrive Media Console will automatically open up and start loading your new title. After it's done downloading, your title will be available inside the Overdrive Media Console. You can click on the plus next to the title to return or delete it, or get details like book description, file name or names, and the book cover. Once you select the book, you'll get some tips on using Overdrive's Media Console Reader. You can choose whether you want these tips to show up each time you open an ebook or not. To move forward and back in the book, tap the left or right side of the screen or swipe the screen from left to right or right to left. To navigate to other chapters on an Android device, press the menu button and select Navigation. On an iPad or iPhone, tap the center of the screen and then choose the icon at the top right corner that looks like a menu. You can tap the menu button on an Android device to choose reader settings, like changing the brightness, color scheme, font size, margins, and more. On an Apple device, tap the center of the screen. At the top, you'll see an icon for brightness settings, including night mode, as well as text size. and background color. When you're reading a book, Overdrive Media Console automatically bookmarks your current position, but you can also create a bookmark using the menu button on an Android device, or by tapping the bookmark icon at the upper right hand corner on an Apple device. If you leave the book you're reading, when you start the Overdrive app back up, you'll start right where you left off. Let's also download an audiobook. First I'll search for the book I'm looking for, and then I'll click on Download Now to my mobile device. Overdrive Media Console will open up and download your audiobook. Audiobooks may be divided into multiple files, so you can listen to the parts that have already been downloaded while you wait for the other parts. Then inside Overdrive Media Console, tap on the audiobook to open it, and hit play to start. There's a button that you can hit that goes back 15 seconds to jump back in case you've missed something. Or you can hit the bookmark button to add a bookmark at a certain point in the audiobook. If you pause the book and close the app, when you restart it, you can pick up right where you left off, just like an ebook. On an Android device, the Navigation tab lets you skip between parts of the audiobook, and the Bookmarks tab allows you to skip to bookmarks. On an Apple device, you also have many of the same options, though they may be located at different parts of the screen. Now that you've seen me download an ebook and an audiobook, why don't you give it a try?